Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the spell Tongues. Bleh. 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 Tongue. Well, I don't know. I have an erection. <laughs> and demonetized. Anyway, this is <laughs> a third level uh, spell for bards, clerics, sorcerers, warlocks, and wizards. It is, I thought it was a ritual spell, but I'm not seeing that tag anywhere, which is a bummer. Anyway, it's got action to cast, touch, range of touch, broken material components, which requires a small clay model of a ziggurat. Do you have to lick the target? It does require no somatic components, and it doesn't say that you have to lick the target. So but it does touch. say you have to touch the tongues. So I guess maybe maybe it's a cute little kiss, like a smooch. Uh, but it has to have tongue. That's an important element of it. Uh, <laughs> duration's an hour, non concentration, school divination. This went off the rails just immediately, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the smell grants. I can't help myself. <laughs> This spell grants you the ability to touch and understand any spoken language. It hears, moreover, when it speaks, it can speak any language that the target understands. It, it, you speak all languages. You're a polyglot. You can say and speak and understand anything, and that's neat and cute and cool and whatever, and so unimportant. Like, the most unimportant effect. This is this is a spell that your DM gives you a scroll of whenever you're going into a foreign location to your party because they don't want to have to deal with, like language barriers and they're like i would rather speak in common i need you all to understand what's going on so here's a scroll of tongues we can say that they speak a different language because it makes sense and then you move forward that's kind of the hope of tongues and beyond that doesn't go on any character sheet ever i don't know i think you could like weaponize it if you purposely go to a foreign land and uh i mean you, you need to translate for another group i mean you can tell these different groups the, the each other is saying whatever you want. No. We're in the assumption so like let's let's look at the scenario in real life where you have a translator on each side of a of a diplomatic event and one of the translators starts telling the other group yes my group has decided told me to tell you to shove it up your arse and the other translator goes that's not even remotely what the other group said. Uh, no, no, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not saying there's a translator on both sides. You're the only translator. Yes. The only one. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, this doesn't work. Sure. That seems unlikely. But yeah. sure, why yeah. not? I mean, I, it, yeah. Even yeah. in that scenario, how are you making good off of that, right? Like, if you got two, are you just, you're just trying to get two factions to go to war, right? Like, you're just instigating? Is that the goal? Uh, I don't know. I'm just having fun. Sure. You just like you like causing trouble. You're a little troublemaker when you play D&D. Yeah, yeah. you, you just want drama to occur. And by drama, I mean... And I want to build to walls of stone. You both love creating society and then tearing it down through nonsense. <laughs> That's Bob's whole goal as a player. Is to play Civ Five but anarchy mode. That's the objective. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fair. Like, on your... Like, if you're building any of these characters, like a cleric, bard, sorcerer, warlock, wizard... Does this any ever come anywhere near your sheet? Anytime. Um, you know what? If it was a first level spell, maybe. But this is a level three spell. So that's there what, is. wow. No. <laughs> that's yep. painful. That is horrendous. Like comprehend language is a first level ritual spell that does 95% of what this does. You do not need this. No character needs this. It's kind of shocking to me that this isn't a ritual spell. Like, if it were a third level ritual spell, I'd get like, okay, so the first level ritual version lets you, like, understand language. And then when you get to fifth level, now you can start communicating with all species and cultures, right? Like, you can kind of, like, get everything out there. Everyone can talk to each other. You have tongues. Right? Easy peasy. But they made it cost a spell slot. And now it's entirely pointless. And now there's no even flavorful reason to put this in your sheet. You can't even stick this in your book with ritual cash. You can't even be a wizard and voluntarily take this just because, yeah, why not? I'll be the translator for the group. I'll just stick it in my book and not to worry about it anymore you don't get that opportunity it's just trash now, let me tell you this too i lived in korea for 15 years mm. i barely speak any like you can get by yeah i believe you tourists are a real thing that go all across the world i know people that have spent years in places like france and do not speak french and it worked out now granted french speaks a little bit of english too but there's like you just said 15 years in korea is a long time to be in korea without speaking korean and yet yeah. you get by just fine yeah, you, you you point at pictures on menus. You yeah. you learn a couple of phrases. Yeah, I'd like a beer. Uh, where's the bathroom? Just I set. like how the order of those definitely tells a story 
of Bob's experiences in Korea. Ah. Uh, anyways, um, tongues. Like you don't need this, right? Well, yeah. I mean, you already brought up that languages are kind of a like. I I got, it really. I guess it depends on the table. Like, uh, if you got a DM that's really leaning into the different cultures and the language barriers maybe this has value but uh I, th I think that's more of a pain in the ass to most dms and players alike yeah i also really struggle right so if you are like whenever you start to examine what kind of world you're setting up right if you're if you're in the process of world building you're a dm and you want tongues to be an integral part of your game right what basically has to happen is you're looking at this big spectrum of of magic and space and you have to say okay people have access to magic to some level for as far as D&D 5e is concerned right like if you're using bare bones what spells exist and how they their uh, act like their impact on the world things like circle of teleportation exist so things and product and people are moving great distances relatively quickly and cheaply right it isn't that difficult to get a circle of teleportation to be permanently in place especially if we're looking at like big empires and if you're doing that if we're accepting that there's like this big largely mobile group lots of people moving about in different spaces different you know merchants if you're doing like even like silk road inspired like huge varieties of cultures that are you have a traveling merchants going across all of them it benefits those merchants and it benefits all of the NPCs to some level to speak a variety of languages, right? To speak three, four, five of them, right? And that's something yeah. historically we've seen people have been able to do. And then a D&D &D party, everyone's going to speak common. And then depending on what species you go, depending on what race you go, you're going to have three or four languages. And the odds that somebody speaks one of the languages that one of these big multicultural people can speak will definitely get you through the vast majority of encounters in that kind of world anyway and then i'm like this really is only for talking to insular groups that are like out in the middle of the jungles of chalt and you're like we need to be able to communicate with these people no one's talked to them for 500 years this is how we do it and again at that point just get a scroll also if there if you live in a world where there's a language called common like <laughs> if that's not your first language it's definitely going to be your second you you know it you know conversational common in a world that common exists in, right? Like, you need it. Uh, I, um, I really don't get the point of this spell. I really don't get... This not being a ritual? Baffling. Baffling. Just being being third level being third is baffling level. to me. Sure. Yeah. You can breathe underwater, but you can't understand people, I guess. That's... <laughs> I mean, that's also a third level. Ritual is where oh, I'm at. Right, right. Um, yeah. What do, what does comprehend languages do? How is that different? Lets you understand languages, but this line of text lets you uh, you can speak whatever language, but and the target will understand it. That text is absent, so you can't speak languages that others understand, but you can understand what they're saying. And I'm gonna okay. be given that you went to Korea for 15 years and got by on minimal Korean. I would also hazard a guess that if one person understands what the other is saying, you probably can get by just fine in the conversation with gestures and with, you know, pointing and pictograms and all the other things that human beings are capable of. Con like, just body language is a big one that people can get yeah. by on. Comprehend language is 95% of the job. Yeah, I got pretty good at that. Yeah. Oh, um. So, but, uh, all right, just to be clear, though, comprehend languages let you understand tongues goes both ways. Well, do you speak it too? Yeah, is the difference. Right. And um, so, what level is comprehend languages? First level ritual spell. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that only castable on self, or is that a uh, castable on other targets? Oh, that's a great question. Let me Google it on the Cavern of Creatures website. <laughs> the most reliable website in the There's world. There's never been a single error on this site in the history of the world. It's a fact. And I can vouch for it, having written a large amount of the content on it. <laughs> I really appreciate also, uh, viewers, that the the <laughs> the tagline for the spell for the site is "Donde esté la biblioteca," as which I'm assuming is just the community reference, which yes, is incredible. Is. <laughs> good, 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 good. Oh, I also made a lie to you. It looks like this also isn't a ritual spell. Still, it's a first level spell, so that does ninety five percent of the job for the duration. You understand, so it is self cast. So there's the difference. This is tongues okay. you can give to someone else. This is self cast only. Has that ever mattered? No, and it won't ever Probably matter not. because ninety eight percent of tables. There's two percent. Well, it's better than one percent. Two percent of tables will want to do something with this, but most of the time, people just are like, 
I don't, it's common works. I don't want language barriers to be part of this game because that's a headache. <laughs> All right. That yeah. Not not much text here. No. You understand, you speak languages. I think all right, here's what I'll say. If you're if you're starting if you're starting at level one, by the time you get to level three, you will know how valuable this spell will be at That's your table. That's hundred percent true. Yeah. If if you are in a campaign where you are exploring the unexplored reaches of the world, if you're doing like a um uh, age of exploration kind of thing and you're meeting different groups of people for the first time ever you will know that by five levels and maybe then tongues goes on one of your cheats probably not the bards probably not the sorcerers definitely not the warlocks so the cleric prepares it every once in a while or you stick in your spellbook as a wizard whoa, whoa, those are whoa, really whoa, the two whoa. options your translator you just ruled out all three charisma based characters they don't have room and yeah. bards aren't ever spending a fourth level spell slot on this, so they do not want it on their character sheet. I'm sorry, warlocks don't want to spend fourth level or higher slots on this, so they're definitely not putting it on their sheet. But yes, that's kind of funny that all the charisma casters definitely cannot afford to put tongues <laughs> in their character sheet. Oh, man, that's just make the nerd translate, just get to put in the wizard book, and then they'll handle it for you. And then you'll get stabbed because his charisma sucks. Heal the wizard will cast tongues on you, the charisma caster, and then everything. Ah, will be fine. All right, there you go. Solved. And again, that's like less than 2% of games. That's almost no tables are playing in a circumstance. And like, I would even say at those tables where tongues has an ability, like can be used, I then also have to say, okay, how much better is this than comprehend language? And do I ever want to prepare this on an average adventuring day? And the answer is still almost all the time is going to be no. Ooh, so, clerics, what? when you're going for the town mission, maybe? One more strike against it. Uh, D and D characters are more often than not bilingual, at least. At least, yeah. Um, so, you know, during character creation time, session zero, if this is going to be an issue, all right, everybody, everybody speaks common. You speak your race language. Let's uh, let's spread uh, spread the others out a bit. Sure. Seems reasonable, especially if you know you're going to a game that's doing that kind of multicultural exploration right. thing where this would have any amount of use. You probably prepared for that in some other ways. And your DM also, if they want that to be a big part of the adventure, they're going to give you a tool to let that happen. They're going to give you a magic stick to let you speak all languages because <laughs> that's magic just... Stick. That's just how, like, if it's part of the game they want to be playing, they don't want you to waffle around in the encounter and go, well, we can't understand what they're saying, and they can't understand what we're saying, so I guess we're going to stare at each other until a fight breaks out. Like, that's <laughs> not the goal. The goal is to have some interesting conversations about different ideas and different peoples across time and space, right? They don't want you to sit there and not have a tool for that problem. <laughs> so it's, it's a good thing that they don't understand you when you say, let me whip out my tongue stick. <laughs> yeah sure that seems reasonable uh, i'm i gave this a one what are you giving it one uh one sounds pretty reasonable but uh the all right third level say, spell yeah, you I could know, explode I know, I know, a town square for the same spell is, level <laughs> that's where i'm at I'm, but uh i will say it with, with the caveat that if uh if you if you get to level five and this is an issue maybe one and a half <laughs> yeah you, one all like, right. why is one. this still an issue I, that's I, what you should be doing um, oh I, I tried i can't i can't bring myself to it too all right I like one and a half if this is your first canonical half score and it's to get tongues for some reason off of one i don't uh, hate it i don't hate this exists it's just way over costed third level that's brutal all right. Well, that was tongues. Thank you, Sam, and thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, let us know what you think of tongues down in the uh, comment section below. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it, a gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.